welcome to live coverage of Apple's Worldwide Developer Conference 2008. To find out more information about Inside Mac TV, visit InsideMacTV.com. I'm really glad to be here this morning. We've been working real hard on some great stuff that we can't wait to share with you. Now, as you know, there's three parts to Apple now. The first part, of course, is the Mac. The second part is our music businesses, the iPod and iTunes. And the third part is now the iPhone. Now, I'm gonna take this morning and talk about the iPhone and things related to the iPhone. And uh, to help me, I'm going to ask Scott Forrestal, our Senior Vice President of iPhone Software, and of course, Phil Schiller, our Senior Vice President of Product Marketing, to help me with parts of this. So next up is the SDK. And to take us through where we are with the SDK, and to show us some really exciting stuff, I'd like to bring up Scott Forrestal. Scott? All yours. All right, with the SDK and iPhone 2.0, we are opening up the same native APIs and tools that we use internally to build all of the applications that ship as part of the iPhone. There have been thousands of people in the last few months, even on our beta, already building applications, and we've started to see some of these. And we were really amazed with the quality of these applications. And so we decided, to invite a number of these developers up here today to show you what they've created. The first developer I'd like to invite up is one that was with us back when we launched the beta in March, and it's Sega. Back when we showed you Super Monkey Ball on the iPhone for the first time last March, our development team, Other Ocean, were able to create four stages from scratch in just two weeks of development time. Eight weeks after that event, they were able to give us 110 stages for the finished game, which is a tremendous amount of content for a handheld game. They were also able to give us all four of the classic monkeys. So we have Ai Ai, Mimi, Baby, and Gan Gan. <laughs> Today we're gonna play as Baby. There are five distinct worlds to play in, and last time we showed you the first world, Monkey Island. This time, we're showing you the last world, Space Case. And the reason I want to show you that is because it's a terrific opportunity to demonstrate just how well the tilt control can keep up with the game's most intricate challenges. As you can see, this is a pretty tricky stage that Josh is trying to get through. And to be able to do it, he has to be able to accelerate, decelerate, and turn with pinpoint precision. The iPhone's accelerometers gives him the ability to do that. This next developer convinced me how even a solo developer can create an amazingly compelling application for the iPhone extremely quickly. He's actually a developer in the insurance industry in England. And the application you're about to see isn't anything you'd expect from someone in the insurance industry. <laughs> to tell you what his app is, I'd like to invite up Mark Terry. Mark. <clears throat> Hi there. I've only been developing on the iPhone in my spare time, but the SDK is so easy to use, I've been able to come up with something pretty cool which I'd like to share with you today. The app's called Band, and it's a collection of virtual instruments that enables anyone, regardless of musical ability, to go beyond just listening to music on their iPhone to actually creating music themselves from scratch. So let's take a look at some of the instruments that Band has to offer. And first of all, we have a two octave piano. We also have an instrument called Funky Drummer that lets you mix up drum beats.
The, uh, the 12 bar blues instrument contains all the elements you need to play the blues in one simple interface. <laughs> Finally, for your backing tracks, we have a bass guitar. All these instruments and more can be recorded, overdubbed, and mixed together into a song. Or, of course, you could always just get together with your friends for a jam, and maybe one day start your own band. <laughs> Look out for band in the App Store in a few weeks' time. Thank you. Our next medical app is from MimVista. MimVista is a leading developer of innovative medical imaging software. And the application they're going to show just really demonstrates how absolutely incredible medical applications are going to be on the iPhone. To walk you through it, I'd like to invite up Mark Kane. Mark? Thank you, Scott. As we know from our existing customer base of radiologists and radiation oncologists, it's easy to be caught without access to a workstation, whether across the hospital, at the gas station, or at the golf course. <laughs> right now we're moving through the slices of a fusion study with a one-finger slide, where we have a CT scan showing anatomic data and a PET scan showing metabolic activity. <laughs> Finally, let's look at the MIP movie. This is a 3D reconstruction ideal for visualizing pet images. Let's change the color for this. Let's choose rainbow. Imagine a doctor sitting with her patient, sharing the images with him iPhone to iPhone, or an oncologist interactively reviewing a radiation treatment plan. The iPhone has created a new direction for our company. We've taken a complex desktop application removed it from the realm of black art and placed it in the hands of physicians and patients. And we've only just scratched the surface. Look for MIM at the launch of the App Store. Thank you. As we arrive at iPhone's first birthday, we're gonna take it to the next level. And today we're introducing the iPhone 3G. We've learned so much with the first iPhone. We've taken everything we've learned and more, and we've created the iPhone 3G. And it's beautiful. This is what it looks like. <laughs> it's even thinner at the edges. It's really beautiful. It's got a full plastic back. It's really nice. Solid metal buttons. The same gorgeous 3.5 inch display, camera, flush headphone jack, so you can use any headphones you like, <clears throat> improved audio, dramatically improved audio. It's really, really great, and it feels even better in your hand if you can believe it. So thank you very much. I'll see you this week. <laughs>